Yeah, I hope that his actions here today inspire other Marines to go and do the same thing in their local community schools. I well, that young sergeant got me fired up to protect the school, right? Stand in guard, front of the school, just in case any bad guys come. Happened to be a faker? How'd he get the idea? We're gonna figure that out. Let's go. I hope we stand up for our kids. I hope we do this. You know? This really shouldn't have to be on the news to, to make a difference. People should just stop worrying about their everyday life and just stop for just, you know, a second. This is a half a day I'm spending here. It really doesn't bother me to stand here for a half a day I'm doing it. People are nice to bring me lunch and drinks and, you know. Now, the guy got outed for not being what he said. So let's give you the story um, Pusley or whatever his name is. Story goes, he got out of the Marine Corps after nine months. His only duty station was MCRD San Diego. And his MOS was 0800. That's what the news reported. So he never left boot camp. Maybe he got hurt, broke something, rehab. I don't know how all that works. But you know, of all the stolen Valor Village idiots, this guy's doing something, but you wonder where he got the idea. We're going to get to that. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to draw no attra attraction to the school, but, you know, it was just something that I felt that I needed to do for an elementary school so close to me. And uh, the fact of being a parent and, and my son will be here next year, you know, and I, I don't know any of these kids at all that are here, but today they, I think, had a little bit of change in, in their lives today, seeing that a Marine was standing outside the school. And I think these parents felt a little bit safer in the end, and, and that was... I mean, the guy looks legit. He looks like a young sergeant. I guess his story starts getting mishmashed in the middle. But here's the catch. He got the idea from a guy on the other side of the coast. Let's take a look at the real deal. I didn't decide to do this until Sunday night. Sometimes just one person can make a difference. Jordan Pritchard, Staff Sergeant, United States Marine Corps. Monday, Pritchard found his old U.S. So this Staff Sergeant, really in the Marine Corps, kids go to the school, decide to do it. So I guess Pusley got the idea when he saw it on the news and said, well, I'll do it on this coast. I can see if your kid goes to school, but I don't know what the faker, kind of faker, not a sergeant, was doing, what the benefit was, right? Beyond some attaboys. He wasn't asking for money. It's a hard one to understand. Let's keep watching the, the staff sergeant, who's really in, was in the Marine Corps. I believe he's out now. Marine Corps uniform. It was in the attic. I'm doing this... Because we need hope, man. We need hope. Sergeant Pritchard is standing guard at Gower Elementary School. He's not getting paid. He's not even armed. A belief and hope is larger than any weapon. He's a volunteer. If you are able and capable of doing something, you have the responsibility to act. Well, he's got a patch on, or like a sticker. Probably says, like, he had approval. I know when I went to my kid's school years ago, you had to check in, get a sticker, they already did background checks if you were coming. You couldn't be some pedophile. So he's a legit deal, real deal. Uh, does it help? I like his attitude. We need some hope, right? And I guess we're going to get back to the guy on the other coast. That was his thought. Well, maybe we give some hope. This gets into a real interesting dilemma. Let's take a little bit more to this jarhead leatherneck and see what he's got to say. And then we'll go back to the guy in the desert cabbies. Oh, you're welcome. He says it's his duty, and parents are appreciative. Sarah Nice has a second and third grader here. He made me feel good, just to know that he stood up and did something to make us all feel better today. Many have said thanks. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome, man. You're very welcome. When the parents come up to me and they're crying and thanking me for being good out morning. here, there's no job in the world that can pay me enough money um, to to not do things for the kids and for the parents, you know? Pritchard also has children here. My wife and I, yes, we have two kids here. Uh, Valerie, seven. Uh, she's in second grade and Colby, six. So he's got a vested interest in the school. And you do see what, he's a guy that's been out, grabs his uniform, puts it on, goes out and stands there in solidarity. 
He's got kids there. He's got a real concern. Let's go back to the fake sergeant. It's on the other coast. You know, done before. I mean, is it patriotic? Is it is it passionate? What do you, what do you think? It's it's a little bit of both. I think it's a little bit of both. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Ready? I think it's a true example of uh, being a hero. What is it about being a Marine that really resonates with protecting, whether it's abroad or right here? On you know what, I, I, I can't say that it, it's, it's a Marine itself. I think, you know, I think you're born, you know, with the protective instincts and, you know, you're either born to be a Marine or you're not. You know, it's a, it's a very tough crowd to run into. So he had the utilities from boot camp. He had to buy the sergeant chevrons. Probably bought them online. Probably got his boot outfit on, right? The stuff they issued him in boot camp since he was there nine months. Boy, this would be hard to talk about. I think he's doing a good thing. I'm trying to figure this one out. Do I care if there's some guy who was... You know, really wasn't a sergeant, some PFC, never made out of boot camp. But, you know, whatever. He was in six months, so I guess he was considered still in the military. I don't know how those rules work, but I know there's some time limit. And he's doing this. He's not asking for anything that I'm aware of or wasn't. And uh, it's, a, it's a very tough title to receive, you know, and, and the strongest to take it and the weakest fail it. And, you know, in the end, I think it's still our duties as a Marine as a citizen to, to stand up for our kids. Well, if he tried that kind of shit today, he'd probably get summarily arrested on the spot. It looks like he's doing something good. I know his story starts falling apart, unraveling as the day goes on. He didn't have that well rehearsed. When I arrived this morning around 7.20, there was a Marine that approached me and uh, asked me if I was the principal and if it would be okay with me if he could stand watch over our school for the next few days while the kids are in school to ensure that parents and kids felt safe as they arrived and left during the school day. Yeah, I hope that his actions here today inspire others. He's kind of standing in a funny manner like the fig leaf thing. Maybe parade rest. And I don't know if you're going to fake it. I don't know what the protocol is for that. Seems kind of a funny way to stand. I understand why he's not armies in the People's Republic of California. That wouldn't work. Concept's still good. Let's see what else transpires here. Marines to go and do the same thing in their local community schools. I think that um, we can't have enough of this kind of patriotism. As a citizen, you should be able to do this. I mean, I think if parents took one day out of the year to just, you know, help with their schools, stand there, you know, walk around the school a little bit, I think schools would be so much safer, you know? This is exactly what we do. You know, we're not all gung ho. We're not all killing machines. We do have a soft heart, too. <laughs> He's been watching too much television. We're not all killing machines, he says. Well, he did spend nine months at boot camp, so that's pretty tough. I don't know how you could do that. Maybe you get hurt, you get rolled for injury. You get rolled a few times. You get rolled so many times, they're like, you're not going to make it, buddy. Because it said his MOS was 0800, which I never even heard of says basic marine i didn't know there was such a thing that stands up for our kids i don't even have a kid or know a child that goes here i don't know any of them but you are a daddy i am a daddy and you know what and this is this is where i think it you know people should stand i mean what better place than in front of the flagpole because it's the center of the school there's a gate there but who's telling that they can't get through that door and get past it? It's only two doors, and it's a straight shot in that door and out the back. You know? And by that time, it might be too late for law enforcement to get here. But if I were standing here on an everyday basis... Well, I don't know what he does for a living. It's the weekday, obviously. He's standing there, you know, doing a good Samaritan deed here, saying they need somebody every day to stand there. Most of these schools have police resource officers, depending on the area. And in Florida, they're everywhere. I would I would be in through that door because something would be bang, banging on that window. And I'd have a chance to save those children's lives. Putting on the sergeant stripes, the story divulging into he was injured in combat in Afghanistan, to he was in weapons, one, two, three, four. That's the reservist company he said he was with. 
to he got out. You know, there was three different stories. Try to really going south for him. At least he was trying. We saw what the real deal was doing in Tennessee. Guy legit, former Marine. This guy, I guess former recruit. Thanks for watching.